Chayve. And Lula Sivka. And this is the Patros Review. Every decent movie fan has their favorite Christmas themed movie that they love and cherish. For high action movie fans, the usual favorite would be Die Hard. Personally, I prefer the cult classic 1990 science fiction horror synthetic hardware, one of my absolute favorite films, and one I grew up watching since the age of eight all the way back in 1993, as my preferred Christmas flick. The Mark 13's Rampage in the movie technically takes place on Christmas, so it's a Christmas film. So while many people's choice for their favorite Christmas movie may vary, and whatever that might be, I'll respect your choice. But as for the candidate for the worst Christmas movie of all time, only one seems to be the almost unanimous choice. The 1964 movie Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. This was a low-budget throwaway piece of children's programming that was originally released theatrically on the 14th of November 1964. It was directed by Nicholas Webster. With the emergence of the bad movie cult in the 1980s, this flick ended up becoming a prize candidate for just about every bad movie mascot's defense programming schedule once every year. The children of Mars are getting rather restless and depressed. They've been watching Earth's television signals on their own power to the cable TV hookup, and they wish they had Santa Claus deliver some presents to them. The Martian's leader, Kimar, decides to head to Earth and abduct Santa Claus himself so he can be brought back to Mars and set up a toy manufacturing workshop there to service Martian's children to basically bring Christmas to Mars. Now, one of Kimar's lieutenants wants his people to return to their violent warrior way past and schemes to sabotage the first ever Martian Christmas any chance he gets. Shot in four days at a uh, former aircraft hangar to a film studio in Roosevelt Field, which is now a shopping mall in Long Island, New York, with the Martian freezer guns being one more air blasters giving a new paint job, and the Martian helmets having natural gas water heater lines attached to them, this lovely Christmas flick was also the debut of infamous Broadway actress Pia Zadora, who was 10 years old at the time she played one of the Martian kids. Speaking of which, most of the film's cast came from Broadway. This is also the first documented appearance of Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus' wife, so that's another piece of trivia for the mind of the digest. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians was, was met with mostly negative reviews upon its initial release. It wasn't until around 1988 or so, when the film became an MST3K victim, that the bad movie cult seized upon its carcass and resurrected into a festive bad movie classic. To be fair, the film, despite having a rather low budget, does the most account with the resources it had, and the actors are all experienced Broadway theatre actors so they know how to act convincingly. The only thing letting them do the proverbial hanging out to dry is the flat in the house of cards run over by steamroll nonsense that called itself the film's script. The whole premise of Santa Claus being abducted by aliens purely so I can do the history first in Star Christmas is so utterly bonkers, it resembles something thought by a meth head giving himself a Christmas surprise of some leftover Merv Pervertin from an old world to a Russian kid. And uh, for those who don't know, Pervertin was, a, was basically a German methamphetamine, uh, methamphetamines, which was supplied to the German military during World War II. In fact, they, that's, that's what gave the German military the ability to pull off the blitzkrieg because they all were so drunk on meth they couldn't sleep. <laughs> if you can't sleep, well, you can fight longer. <laughs> yeah. I am willing to bet that there were quite a few children who went to see this movie in the cinema in 1964 and afterwards upon finding the Christmas tree as having no presents due to the parents being too tight for the Christmas budget, it happens, getting hysterical thinking that Santa was too busy even bloody Martian kids their presents instead of focusing on Earth children and probably decided to become hardened aliens when they grow up to get some revenge on the Martians if they ever come to meet with us. The visual effects are pretty basic and looking like something out of TV production, but I guess that gives the film its charm when nostalgic audiences of today look upon it when they fire up the VCL DVD player to watch it. What well, isn't anything that would win any awards in the technical aspects of the story, it's pretty, it is however pretty good nature in its aims, it will, and it will give a quite an effective dose of Christmas theme masochist enjoyment. Yeah, so that's so I'll give this a D plus, three out of ten. It's disappointingly mediocre. Now it's no golden routine, this it's a kid's film. Okay, hope you guys enjoy that. If you have any questions, comments, or associate trivia for this review subject, please let me in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. I hope you guys stay safe, take it easy, see ya.